Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing... What's in my crag bag? Let's get started. Alright, so first thing you can probably see is my helmet. Um, this is a helmet from Black Diamond, obviously. Now, I drop, break, smash anything you can think of. So to have something that's so durable but so lightweight, honestly, you forget that you're actually wearing a helmet when you're wearing it. That's how light it is. So, one of my favourite things that I own. It's got really nice ventilation at the back. It's awesome. Okay, as we go into the bag, the first thing at the top, always the guidebook, because it has instructions on where you're going, so obviously if you've been to a crack that you've never like been to before, then you always have this there, so you can open it up to the page, keep it there with one of these things here, and so you've always got quick and easy access to know where you're going, and then later on to find out which climbs you're doing. Okay, next thing. Um, just at the top so it doesn't get ruined. I've just got a water bottle, some snacks if I'm only going for a short amount of time. Obviously I'd have lunch or more food in there if I was going out for a bigger day. Okay, next thing at the top are climbing shoes. So I've got these La Sportiva Solution Pair in pink, obviously again. These are awesome. They're a little bit too big at the moment, so I'm looking at buying some, having a look at buying scarpers, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go for a test demo soon. Um, but yeah, these are, if I only had these over the summer, but they've been great. So, and I've got another pair of shoes. Now I've just got, these are my first ever pair of shoes. I always bring these just in case we're doing a warm up route. And I wanna have shoes that are not gonna put me so much through, so much pain. So I just wanna get into the moves and just get into, back into it again so I wear these so yeah these are more for like hard routes that one of you know projects and stuff like that okay next thing I've just got this bag and inside the bag it's my chalk bag and I've got a little brush on the side of it I don't always keep it in when I go climbing um usually just when I'm doing uh, projects and stuff like that so going up and down it but it's always good to have a brush okay next thing inside the bag is liquid chalk. Um, I don't use it that much. It's Friction Labs. Amazing. But I don't use it as often. Um, also, all the chalk I use is all unicorn dust. That is like the best. It's the best of the best. Doesn't get any better. Proud, proudly sponsored. Then I have this. If you can tell what this is, I mean, it's completely just covered in chalk. It's tape. I never use tape. I mean, only when it gets really bad, I'll use tape. But otherwise, I won't use tape. But yeah, that, I'll just I'll keep that in there. Maybe it's always just in case. So I put, I put this in here because the chalk tends to come out. As you can see, I'm just already, my jeans are just covered in chalk right now. Okay, so tightly put that away. Okay, so next thing is this. This might look like a mess, but I tell you what, it's as good as it gets. So first things first, is I've got this tiny little gear loop at the top, and this is just because when it looks like this, it's so hard to know where to pick it up from, because you don't want to pick it up from here, because then it looks even worse. So I pick it up from my tiny gear loop, and then it's all nice and neat. So if I extract it like this, I'm gonna take this off first. And so what we have on here, First things first, I've got an ATC. Don't usually use this at sport crags, so I'm usually more for track climbing, but it's always on there. Always, always on there. Thank you. Next thing on here I have is the Gree Gree. I religiously, for sport climbing, use the Gree Gree, as well. I'm, I'm happy with this, so. And it's matching colours to this. Next thing, I've got this. This is, uh, the length of it I think is 120 centimetres if I'm right. Um, perfect, perfect length. I use it just for the front of my harness, tying off at the top. So just to make it all smaller, just loop it around. Okay, next 
thing, I've got two carabiners with me and a really, really long lead. Okay, so the quick draws are last. So I have, so these, so these are the black diamond posi wire, I think that's correct. And they're the blue edition and they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the details and the stitching and everything, it just, it feels nice. Like, if you want, again, this is the same with the helmet and the whole black diamond situation. Everything that I own, it, it breaks, but I've never had any kind of gear or something that's more worth getting than this kind of, uh, like, proper, solid, solid, solid gear. Um, I've only got eight of these, and the reason for this is that down at the south coast, the roots are quite small, so you don't need more than that. Just saving money. I mean, when I go on to bigger trips, I'll probably end up buying more. But for now, it's all, it's all I need is, so it's absolutely perfect. But I'll probably buy another six pack soon. Okay, next thing is this amazing thing. I mean, it's so small. It's obviously back diamond again. It's amazing. Okay, so it's also the solution. So the same with the shoes generation. It's a harness, it's a sport climbing harness, specific sport climbing, just because of how lightweight it is. It's only got four gear loops, which is absolutely fine. I've used it for track climbing loads and I've never actually needed more. Um, and I've done a few multi pictures with it as well, so and it's the comfiest thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's amazing and it packs into so small. And they use this fusion uh, material and it, it's so thin, but so unbelievably comfy. So this is a must have. I wear it all the time. So yeah. The next thing I have is I have a rope. This is not the normal rope I take, but it was just to fill up the bag as in what I normally have. It's, uh, it's a quite a cheap rope from Decathlon. Wouldn't necessarily use it at the crag. I usually have longer ropes as this is more of an indoor rope, but just to give you an idea of how much I have to carry. I'm just going to put that back in. Uh, next thing, I just have got a hat just in case a uh, bee laying and it just kind of gets the sun a little bit in the way. Got a little side pocket, a uh, bit lip balm, and then my wallet, phone, all you need really. And to be honest, now that it's laid out, it looks like a lot more, but that's all you need to have a really, really good day at the crag. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you what's inside my crag bag on a normal day to day basis. If you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys want to see any similar videos, different videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon.